Hello everybody, this is Randy K. Riggs from 278 The Mix, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your version 1.82 Radio DJ to version 2 Radio DJ. Uh, it can be complicated, but it's really simple at the same time. So what you want to do first is go on the Radio DJ website, radiodj.ro, and go to the download page and download the Radio DJ version 2. It's going to be the very top one. So once that's downloaded, you're going to go in here. Go to your downloads, you'll find it. It's called Radio DJ 2. Set up Radio DJ 2 right here. I'm going to right click on it, make sure everything looks good in properties. Uh, everything looks good there. You may have something down here that asks you a couple things. Uh, you can just make sure you unhide those or allow and all that good stuff. So, Okay, so I'm going to right click again. Radio DJ setup. I'm going to go in here and run as administrator. It's going to pop up with this box. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to click next. I'm going to install. It only takes a second, which is the best part and about Radio DJ. It's going to come up here with this check in here to run the database. Because if you don't run your database and you don't have a good database, it's not going to open properly. So I'm going to connect now to my server. As you can see, the red line is offline. means it's not working. I'm going to put my server in. Okay, I'm going to click Validate. Hopefully the server will turn green. There it is. So the next thing we want to do is go in here, and we're going to find our file, which it goes when you unzip it and install it. It goes on your C drive directly. So you go to your computer, C drive. We're going to go to Radio DJ version 2 uh, right here. I'm going to go to my setup right here, and then I'm just going to click Backup so I know where it's going. I'm going to click this. Now it's going here. Radio DJ setup backup. I'm going to back up my database. And that looks good right there. So once that's done, uh, I'm going to go back up here. Once the green line goes all the way across and stopped, you know it's done. I'm going to go back to database utils right here. Select update file down at the bottom. I'm going to click on that. I'm going from version 1.82 to version 2. So this is the one I want to click right here. I'm going to double click that. Are you sure that's what you want to do? I'm pretty sure. I can't wait to get this program started. And as you can see here, um, the green line didn't go all the way across yet. So we'll wait a second and see if it's going to make it all the way across. It may be searching to find the database or, or whatever it's doing. But I'm kind of an impatient person. So what I normally do is I'll just press OK and open up my radio dj from there and you're probably going to see it's on my c drive radio dj version 2 you're probably going to see that when it opens it's going to have some gray areas in it and here it comes well no that worked so more power to me <laughs> but if you have to do that setup thing again you want to make sure those green lines go all the way across and you're set. The only issue I see so far are these two red lines here because this has all got to be set up again um, to make sure that the new version is good with everything. So I'm going to go down here now. I'm going to click so the I'm going to click my radio DJ so the bottom areas will show up. And when that happens, it's kind of hidden because my um my recording screens right here so oh, here it is okay I'm gonna find this tool and I'm gonna go in here to options I'm gonna to go to sound card sound card looks good everything's there so I just had to open that up it seems like and and then let it re refine itself so now we'll close it we'll exit out of here and it says you had to restart radio DJ when I restart it these lines should be gone so we're gonna close radio DJ and then it's here. I'm going to go ahead and make me a shortcut as well. I'm going, to, I'm going to create a shortcut. It's right here. I'm going to slide this over to my desktop. As you can see, I run multiple radio stations. So I'm going to rename this to V2. So I know which one opens it up. V2. Okay. So I'm going to close this now. And then I'm going to click V2 for Radio DJ version 2. And now those lines up here in the top area, when it opens, should be gone. And they are. Uh, find me a song to play. Uh, let's play some Akon. 
See if it's going to work. It worked. Way to go. Everything looks good. The only thing that's bothering me right now, and it don't bother me because this is great software, but this Radio DJ logo right here, I think I'd kind of like to have my own logo up there. You can see it now, Radio DJ logo. So what I'm going to do is I want to exit out this program one more time. I want to close it. I have my logo on the screen, but let me open up my Explorer. I want to go to my C drive. I want to find Radio DJ 2. I just want to open it up. And this thing here that says logo, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to delete that. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my logo from up here on my desktop. I'm going to slide it in here. And I'm going to find that logo again. Look, it says 278 logo. I'm going to rename that to just logo. Just to match the one I just took out. Make sure there's no extra spaces. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to close all this down again. I'm going to hit my version 2 activator. And when I do that, you're going to see Radio DJ is going to open with no issues. And my logo should be up here. And right there it is in the corner. So that's basically uh, how you do the installation from 1.8.2 to version 2 in Radio DJ. Hopefully that helped you out. Uh, this has got some more features in this thing than what I'm used to. So I'm going to investigate some more stuff and see if I can help you out with a little more information on when I find other things out. Thanks for watching. Randy K. Riggs, 278 The Mix.